Hi, my name is Newell Davis with World Composting, and today we're going to take a look at our urban worm bag that has the African night crawlers in it. Now, it's been 40 days since my last update, and I did expect to get to it a little bit sooner, but it's been quite a bit. But we did add last time a ton of wheatgrass that I flipped over, and that had a, and also some cocoa coir and things like that that should really help this system out. It's also a lot warmer here in Maryland, and you know, with it being up to 90 degrees outside, hopefully. That's also helped these worms just become more and more active, and hopefully they're reproducing as well. So with that, let's take a look at the system and see how they're doing. Hopefully the numbers have increased and really they're active, so that we can start adding lots of food and cardboard to the system as well to really get it moving. So with that, let's go take a look at the system and see how it's doing. All right, here we are with the Urban Worm Bag. As I said, it's been 40 days since our last update. Let's go ahead and open this up and see how this looks inside. Now we did add this piece of kind of plastic. I see a spider crawling in here. Piece of plastic here that's supposed to try to help keep some of the moisture in the uh, container here. I'm just gonna move that off to the side. And let's go ahead and look inside here. Hopefully there's enough moisture in here for the worms. You can see definitely um, still some of that wheatgrass in there. This is the wheatgrass mat. I'm just gonna try to move this off to the side. trying to find a place to put this stuff. I didn't realize I'd, my table was in use here. All right, so let's just go ahead and peel this back a little bit. Let's take a look. Still a lot of material in here. This is such a massive root system, I'm not surprised. It's a little bit dry. It's definitely ripping apart now. See that right there? It just rips right apart. I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of move this off to the side here. Looks like this is still moist underneath. Let's just dig down and see if we can find any worms. Material looks nice. This is definitely not, you can see the difference between the Coco Coir and what's castings. And you can see right here, we've got our first worm. Definitely way too dry in here. We got another worm right over there. Let's just dig down a little bit further. Gets a little bit more moist. You can see the material sort of sticking together a little bit though. We can see some more worms though. This is a good sign. More worms in here. But it's very, very dry. This is way too dry for these worms. I really need to get it more moist. And I really should have checked on this a little bit earlier. But there are some worms in here. Hopefully we can add in that moisture that they need. Let's just move this over. It's funny as I'm not finding uh, anything else in here either. And I do have some food that we can add in here. But you can see another worm right there. So they're definitely coming in here. There's definitely some worms in here. But really, really dry material. This is way too, oops, there's another worm right there that just fell out. Lost them. Another one right over here. You can see though, they're not really active right now. They're kind of dried out. They're looking for that moisture content. We're going to have to add a lot of water to this system. Here's another couple over here. And luckily this cocoa coir can hold a lot of water. So we'll be able to just kind of dump it in here. Because, like, I mean, you can tell this is just dry. Um, way too dry for these worms. Let's just dig a little bit more over here. I'm not seeing a lot. So, all right, we're going to have to really try to bring these worms back by mixing in some water. I'm going to grab my little water container here, which is just a little, little container. We're going to dump some water in and mix this up. So, just get some water in here. This water is room temperature. And it's okay. This is this will soak into stuff. I'm not worried. If it drops out, drips out of the bottom, which can happen with these systems, just so you know, if it drips out the bottom, that's okay as well. I've got a bucket underneath, or a I should say not a bucket, but a container underneath that can catch it. But we're gonna add a lot of water in here. See if we can't get this going again for these guys. And it's okay that it's just saturated right now. That's perfectly fine. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to kind of mix it up a little bit. See, look at that. You only really got the, the top moist. We're going to sort of mix it together like that. Kind of make it a little bit more muddy. It's perfectly fine. It's going to get those worms, hopefully, the moisture that they need to really start to move around in here a little bit more. You can see there's quite a few worms right here. But they're definitely struggling in here with this low moisture content. This is just not... It's way too dry for them. And that's my fault for not checking on it enough. 
I really should be checking this a lot more frequently, but it's also been really hard to keep this moist because it dries out pretty quick. But we can go ahead and add a lot of moisture to this. As I said, if it trips out of the bottom, that's fine. But I think it's just really just sort of getting this top wet. You can see right here, it didn't even get moisture right there. So we can just kind of mix this up. And normally I wouldn't mix up bins like this. Normally I would just keep adding to the top, but I really feel like this needs to get down here in the bottoms section. This moisture, there we go. This is looking a lot better. You can see it's kind of sticking in my gloves a little bit more. And now we can go ahead and kind of spread this out a little bit too. We can kind of rip this apart. They were starting to work at this. This really holds moisture well, especially this root system in here. Actually, let's just dig over here just a little bit. You know what I'm, I'm not finding in here? We had that big, um, what was it? I'm trying to think of what it was. It was a beet, a beet root that was in here. Oh, wait, hold on. Here it is. Here's that beet root. I was going to say, I couldn't believe it was gone. But I think we'll add that back to the middle here. I think I saw, here we go. There's another worm over here. It was a little bit wet over here, it looks like. So, that's more of that, uh, that piece from the top. So we're just going to kind of mix this in here. But one of the other things that I do want to add, I actually have some food to add here. So we're going to add this right near this beetroot. I have some stuff that might heat up a little bit here and might help this system out. So first off, this is all just in the fridge. This was not in the freezer, but it should be bug free. First, we have some lettuce here. This lettuce went bad before we could eat it. As you can see, it's not frozen. And plenty of little places to hide in there. And then the next thing I have here, which is something that worms tend to really like, and this again is cold, is some rice. Now you probably can't see that. Let's see if it'll focus there for a second or adjust. There we go. You can see it now. There's rice. You can't see the bag now, but all right. Hold on. I'm going to have to use my clean hand for this. I don't really want to. This is a little bit hard. It's been sitting in our fridge and it got shoved to the back somehow and then we forgot all about it, which happens. So it's been sitting there for probably a week and a half. There we go. Almost all of it out. I'm just scraping the bottom of the, the jar now. As I said, with my clean hand instead of my glove. So there we go. That's all out. We're just going to go ahead and grab this. Just break it up right over here. That's a little bit, little bit chilly probably right now, but it's going to warm up pretty quick. But what's great about it is that it should hopefully warm up and actually like literally heat up because it's almost like do, do, do kind of a hot compost. Now, the other thing we are going to do with this is we are going to add a little bit more cocoa coir. I'm going to continue to add more and more of this stuff to this system because I do find that adding some fresh cocoa coir, even though this is not hydrated, will help it hopefully keep holding more moisture as we get a little bit closer to the top here. That's my hope. So we're just going to go ahead and add a ton of water to this again. There we go. Let's just break open these couple pieces right here. A couple chunks. Make sure that they get some water. I almost finished off my bucket here. By the way, this water does have my uh, the, the dunks in it. All right. I think that might be well, maybe just a little bit more. I'm almost debating whether to just dump the rest of the bucket in here since I've already added so much. Cocoa coir is great at absorbing moisture though, so hopefully it'll hold the moisture in here for quite a while. There we go. How's that? All right. Just see if I can get the last rice off my fingers here. But there we go. There's our system right now. And I'm just going to rinse off my glove. Actually, you know, maybe I'll just dump it. Oh, no, I'm not going to dump in the rest of the bucket. I hate for it to just pour out the bottom. But um, I'm going to try to check on this a little bit sooner than what happened this last time. We're going to try to check on it in, you know, the next 10 or 15 days instead of 40, which is a really long time. I'm going to put this back over the top. And again, we are going to add our plastic cover right here just to sort of see if that holds the moisture a little bit lower. And we'll see how that does. 
So that's it for this update. Um, the system is doing okay. It's not nearly where I wanted it to be by now. I was really hoping this would be like fully functional. I just wish I had more time to, to be down here working with uh, in the basement, but I have not had that luxury lately. So with that, I'm going to close this up. We did add a little bit of food. We added in a ton of water. And we'll let this sit for a little bit. Hopefully these worms will kind of come back to life as they uh, they rehydrate and get a little bit healthier. And then hopefully we'll start seeing maybe some maybe I'll be able to build this up a little bit more than what it is. So with that, thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and let me know. Thank you.